Hey Housekits, welcome to today's Big Brother Canada 4 updates and spoilers. Um, we don't have Housekits of the day, but if you want that to be you, make sure you check out our Patreon link in the info box below. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here, so if you want to leave your stamp on this season, make sure you check out the link. Alright, so Joel and Tim were chatting yesterday in the backyard. Uh, it was like a pretty casual day because it's the day after that huge blowout party that we didn't get to see. Yeah, I'm still pissed about that. But um, people were just kind of like trying to get rid of their hangovers and hanging out. So Joel and Tim were talking about working in radio because they've both done that. And that was pretty interesting because I've dabbled in radio a bit too. Um, politics, healthcare, Tim's dog Meatloaf. It was pretty interesting actually to hear them talk about real life stuff. So then Cass and Phil were chatting about the game. And Phil was like, so hypothetical here, do you think if it was a final five with us, Joel, Tim, and Nikki, that the internationals would just bow out and let us go to the final three? Really, Phil? That is so lame. First of all, do you really think they would do that? Second, would you really want them to? Like, that would be so, I would feel like such a loser. Like, oh, these people let me get further. Like, they let me win. That's so lame. But Cass was just like, uh, maybe, maybe Nikki. But Tim definitely wants to win. So then she also lets Phil know that in her mentoring session with Sarah, Sarah was like, uh, don't get it twisted. Everybody wants to win at this point which I'm pretty sure is true. So then Cass was like, trying to mend the bridges, mend the fences, whatever, with the brothers, and she was like, I still want to work with you guys, and I want to repair the damage from nominating you this week, and Phil's like, oh no, it's all good, it's all good. Sure it is. So you know that they're both still going after each other. So then Cass tries to <clears throat> throw some shade on Jared. She's like, you know, Jared was throwing you under the bus big time earlier this week. And Phil's like, yeah, I know. It's part of the game. All right. So then they both talk about how they want a Canadian to win this season. Well, if you want it so badly, then make it happen. I don't see you going after the internationals. You kept them in the game this long. I mean, really. You only have yourselves to blame. So, uh, there was lots of chit-chat last night about the real world, like I said earlier. So, Jared and Joel were talking about past jobs and stuff. And, um, I just, you know, I've noticed that Jared's kind of clinging on to Joel a bit. It's coming off a little bit phony. Um, so then there was a lot of talk about sports and, like, a lot of people talking about movies because Cass was trying to figure out what movie to watch on the Show Me app. Uh, and then Tim and Nikki were having some interesting discussions about, like, energy and, like, crystals and some really zany stuff, guys. So then, <laughs> Phil was outside with Kelsey and Jared. He tells them about his conversation with Cass, and he's like, oh yeah, Cass brought up the whole Joel thing again about how Joel was saying, um, mean things to Joel... Jared was saying mean things to Joel about Tim and Cass and Nikki and blah, blah, blah. So Phil's like, oh, I defended you to Cass about the whole Joel thing. <laughs> Phil's version of defending someone is like saying nothing. <laughs> he was like, oh, I didn't hear Jared say anything mean. No, I, didn't, I didn't think it was mean. So then Phil was like, yeah, Cass also told me that she doesn't know who the next target's going to be after you, meaning Jared. Um, so she, yeah, she said there's no real clear target. We know that she wants the brothers out. Phil knows that he's the next target. He's like, yeah, that definitely means that I'm the next target. Yeah, thank. Um, and then they're trying to give Jared some campaign advice. They're like, just keep working Joel, keep being his friend. And Jared's like, yeah, I think I'll get him. And I also think I can still get Tim. Why do you think this? Why are you... <laughs> All right. So this morning, uh, we find out that Phil is off the hook with the skunk costume. He's done with that, but now Nick has to wear it for the rest of the week. I thought initially both of the brothers were going to have to wear skunk costumes for the whole week, but apparently Big Brother only had one, so they had to split the skunk duty. <laughs> um, and this is no, like, casual skunk costume. This suit actually, like, sprays out this gross-smelling stuff out of the butt! That's hilarious! Um, so yeah, Nick has to deal with that now. Um, but things have been very tense 
in the house today. Nikki was venting to Cass and Tim in the HOH this morning about how uncomfortable she is because Kelsey and Phil especially have just been like staring at her nonstop. And she said, it's creepy, and they're trying to intimidate me, and it's wrong. And Cass is like, oh, well, they all hate me too. But Nikki is just like, I can't do it anymore. I can't. So then they kind of steer the conversation away from that. Cass lets them know that Big Brother gave her permission to take over Joel's slot punishment. I'm a little surprised that they're letting her do that. She hasn't even told Joel yet. Uh, her plan is to, like, pig out hardcore, enjoy her HOH wine, and then, like, go on slop and bring Joel a plate of food and just be like, here, you can eat this now. <laughs> I don't know if Joel's going to be happy about that, though, because it's kind of like, I don't know. Is he going to, like, owe her? I mean, I think he's working with Cass anyway, and he's totally genuine about that. But I think, you know, he took this punishment, and he doesn't want to, like make it look like he can't handle it. Like, I, th I feel like he's going to want to carry it out. So I don't know if he's going to accept that. But I think that Jared, Kelsey, and the brothers are really going to have a field day with this whole thing. And I'm surprised that Jared didn't think to try and give Joel his not, have not, whatever, never have not pass. That's a little surprising. Um, but yeah, Jared and Kelsey were discussing his campaign strategy. He's planning on talking to Tim today. So Kelsey was trying to coach him, and she was like, what are you going to say to Tim? So Jared starts saying, like, oh, uh, I'm going to tell him that I've had his back the whole time. And Kelsey's like, no, 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 stop. So Jared's just like, whoa, you didn't even give me a chance to speak. Like, you told me to shut up and blah, blah. So they're freaking bickering back and forth about that. It's so stupid. But then Kelsey's telling him, do not say that you've had his back 100% the whole time. You need to own that, you're, that you've been nervous about him. Tim likes when people own up to things like that, uh, so you need to be real with him. So then Jared's talking about how he's going to bring up that he shook Tim's hand and he voted to keep him last week and he didn't have to do that. And then he wants to bring up how Tim said... Uh, earlier in the game that he wanted a deserving Canadian to win and he would like help make that happen so Jared's gonna be like practice what you preach oh that is so douchey so <laughs> Kelsey's like okay but don't make it like an international thing because that's not gonna sit well with him so make it more about how you deserve to stay more than Nikki does that you've done more in this game than Nikki has I mean yes but at the same time why should that be a reason for him to st like what and he hasn't even done that much so then um nikki was crying this afternoon and saying that she wants to leave you are so close to the end stop so cass and tim were comforting her tim's just like listen we, the internationals, are actually really important this week for one of the first times in the game. We're going to play a huge role in deciding who wins. This week is important. Like, this needs to go through as planned. And then he's trying to encourage her, like, do it for Mitch. Take out Jared and Kelsey. That's what Mitch wants. And he's like, you never know what's going to happen next week. You could win the next HOH. So... She's like, well, I feel like a leper and an outcast. So she's like really upset right now. And I feel bad for her, but hopefully she's going to pull through because they're so close to the end. Don't mess this up. Um, but anyway, it looks like Jared's going to be campaigning today. So that should be fun. We'll have that and more tomorrow. And until then, much love.